What a result. First of all, um, James, just tell us a little bit about um, your emotions as you were watching him go through. Uh, it was really an amazing special time. So it was, we are just so kind of hopeful because the animal turned out to be a fantastic looking animal, a walking animal, and he had all the qualities, but you really never know till you turn up to the sales. And which I had an, an inkling that he was going to be special. The amount of good wishes I had all morning. My phone was dinging. I was hoping it was going to be vetting reports, but it was just <laughs> a lot of friends wishing the best of luck. So it was a really nice thing. So. And he was, and, and seeing him go around there, he looked to handle it all so well. I mean, Ola, you obviously knew you had a good one on your hands, but how pleased had you been with him, you know, in the prep and how he'd done at home? Uh, he's lovely. Um, Paddy, Paddy Kelly is the man behind all the prep. He's the magician with them. But um, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a lovely horse. He's really nice from, you know, day one as a foal. He's very nice, lovely temperament. Um, but the mare is a lovely temperament as well. So it's, yeah, he's just, he's really nice. He's smashing. There's a bit of a story behind this mare, isn't there? Because this is the, the turn of the century, having produced the horses that she's produced so far. Tell us a little bit about the backstory. The back story with the mayor, um, she was very dear when we bought her. She cost uh, 14 and a half grand. So um, she's produced very... She produced very good horses since. And hopefully she'll produce a few more. But we're after we thrilled with this horse and where he's going to go. He's going to a great trainer. So we might have a few good days next summer in the corridor or somewhere. But we're looking forward to it all now. Even yeah. if you don't, you've got to enjoy this sale, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> so 14,000, 1.25 for this one. Obviously, we're underselling how many good horses she's produced. I mean, it's just been bang, bang, bang with this mare. It's amazing. She's, she's been a proper mare, a real true star of a mare. It's, as I was kind of saying to colleagues, it's, it's what you kind of dream of when you have mares and you're looking at the foals and what can happen. And, just, you know, f f once in a lifetime, I think the dream has come true tonight. And even though she's bred all the things, but to get a result like that at a sale, it's... it's, it's life-changing stuff. And how did you go about selecting Wooten Bassett for this particular mare? Um, we're, we're, it went through our heads like we were going to cover very well after getting the price we did for some of the other previous ones so Wooten Bassett was kind of coming in and he was beginning to get very popular and we, we took our chance we actually brought two mares to Wooden Bassett but this one turned out to be special and I knew from the day he was born that he was going to be a special foal and the later we kept him to be a yearling and Proof isn't a pudding there today. It certainly was. I won't. I won't keep you back from the champagne tent any longer. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. I'd love to. I feel like I'm, I may be biased, but with my parents having bred Wood and Bassett, I'm enjoying enjoying in the celebrations. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah.